Hello, everybody, and welcome to my enrolled agent journey. This is my studying through August 20th, 2020. So my disclaimer and copyright notice, the information and opinions in this presentation are those of the author only and not the author's employers or affiliate of organizations, including but not limited to Irvine Valley College and the South Orange County Community College District. The presentation is for educational purposes only and does not constitute any legal or accounting advice whatsoever. This presentation is copyright 2008 to 2020 by Bennett Tchaikovsky. I encourage you to share this presentation and share links to this presentation on an unmodified basis. If you modify the presentation in any way, please email me prior to doing so at bennett1812 at gmail.com to discuss. Note the author does not claim any copyright whatsoever in any companies or organizations mentioned in this presentation or the other parties, rather the other parties are the owner of their respective copyrights. So I've been going through and I'm just going to change this up real quick. So the way I've studied for, and we can kind of see what my progress is, and it's not as great as I thought it would be um, right over here. So I've got a total of 13 sections to do. Um, I did finish gross income, which is one of the longer chapters. I'm now going through here about to take the business deduct uh, deductions quiz. For whatever reason, the filing requirements are still giving me a lot of trouble. Um, so I'm probably going to go back to that like a little bit later on. I think that that's the real important thing is to not get stuck. And this is advice that I always give to my accounting students. Uh, don't get stuck on things. So the way I'm going through and studying for the material now is I am actually, and this is kind of what I've been doing, is I will actually read the textbook uh, first or the uh, I'll review the review materials. I'm gonna show you what that is real quick. So this is the book that I'm using. And of course, because I'm using a virtual background on, uh, because I'm using a virtual background on my computer, which is my uh, Irvine Valley College. Uh, this is the book that I'm using right now to go through and study from. So what I've done is, is I've read through the materials and now what I'm about to, to go through and do is to take the adaptive quiz and glime so let's go back over to that real quick so this is right over here so I'm about to start this uh, section three or I guess it's a study unit uh, three so I have not yet started this and I'm going to go ahead and hit start and so I want to go ahead and now skip or summary not skip my baseline, but I want to go ahead and set my baseline. Um, if I skipped the baseline, I think I would have to go through and do every part. But let's go ahead and we'll hit set my baseline. And I'm going to go through and do 20 questions. And it's right now here is the section time remaining is 29 minutes. So it's in process now. So what I'll try to go through and do is to attempt doing this. And let's see how I go through and do. So I'll join you back here in hopefully about 20 minutes or so. So I'll talk to you in a little bit. And I'll see you on the other side. I'm just jumping in here on one of the questions here just because I want to kind of show you how the calculator function works. So what's kind of cool about the EA review if you're going through and doing it here is that it's, uh, I'll sit here and say, okay, uh, Ted is self-employed taxpayer. So I'm going to say 5,000 which are the miles he drove to visit clients, uh, plus the 500 to, to, to go to the seminars. And then I can multiply this here by 0.58. And then I get around 90, ooh, hold on. Something I did wrong there. So let's go. So about 3,190. And then I'm going to add plus 300. So right over here, so this is a little calculator function that you can use. And as you're going through here, you can kind of see all like the different, this is kind of flagging that I've gone through and done that question. So I'm going to go ahead and pause out and I'll see you back in a little bit. So I'm back. I did this thing in 10 minutes and I don't feel really good about it, but let's go see how we did. So I want to go ahead and hit finish the test. And so let's see how I did. 
Um, oh, I got an 80%. Okay. So again, what's kind of cool about this, this is kind of telling me where I got things correct and incorrect. Clearly I need some help with rental property expenses uh, because I only got two or three of those right. But uh, let's take a look over here. So this is again, what's really, really nice about the review is that you can kind of go over here and I can look at all of them. So if I was guessing, I can see what I did right and wrong. Um, or I can kind of go over here and kind of say that, uh, you know, to figure out, so which is uh, considered a non-business bad debt. Um, okay, so if right over here. So that's kind of how, I, and I'm just gonna pause real quick and we'll see what happens once I get out of this. So again, as I'm going through these questions, it's telling me why I chose the wrong answer or why my answers are incorrect. So this again is, to me, it's extremely helpful. So I'm not gonna go ahead and, and review and like, let's see what they want me to do next. So it's going through right now and thinking, and it wants me to go through and read the sections of the digital book. And let's see if it'll take me to, let's see what it does here. Okay, so it wants me just to kind of focus like on these uh, three different items. So if I open up on, let's see here. So this is the whole section. Let me just go back over here and see, uh-oh. Let's see if this will work. Oh, return outline menu, that might be a good idea. So let's go through here. So this is my digital outline and that's, but if let's go here to focus questions. Okay, so it's gonna give me five questions. So I'm gonna, because these are more uh, true false, it looks like it's helping me kind of go through and then uh, kind of figure out a little bit more about uh, what I'm doing. So I'm gonna pause this through and I'll come back to you in just a moment. Okay, so what I've just done is I've gone through, they told me to go through and, and do some questions from each one of these. So I really just went through back to the focus questions and these are all true false questions. And so now that I've done this part over here, I'm gonna go ahead and check this out by going over to the testing. And let's see how many they give me. Okay, let's go ahead and launch this adaptive quiz. Okay, so it's giving me here 20 questions, which uh, hopefully will be a little, so we'll see how I do on these. Um, I'll come back to you in just a moment, hopefully before uh, 32 minutes, if it's, or hopefully before uh, the full 30 minutes. So I'll come back to you momentarily. So what's interesting right now is I'm just kind of going to this because I thought I was gonna be doing uh, for the study unit three, but what it's actually doing, it's actually throwing me questions uh, from the one I was really having trouble with. So uh, what's kind of cool about this is it's actually expecting me to know what I was missing so from previously, so it's not letting me go. So uh, we'll see how this kind of goes along, but this is actually kind of a cool feature where if I have been missing things from another previous study unit, it's actually pulling these up here in this uh, adaptive question. I've just done this one because I had a, a cat visiting me. I don't think I did as well on this one. We'll see if the cat brought me any luck. And let's go ahead and finish this test and we'll see, uh, let's see how I did here. Oh, yikes. Okay, well, I guess that might be passing, but let's just take a look over here. Um, so here, oh, wow, business meals did a lot better on. Rental property expenses, I got a lot of better. Business expenses, yikes. Finally, requirements of dependence. So that's clearly uh, I need to go back through and uh, work on that. So let's go ahead and review the quiz. And so again, what's really cool is that this is giving me a, a full breakdown and telling me uh, how I should be going through and answering that. Actually, I should have known that one was right, that one was correct. Um, let's go through here. Yeah, this is something I need to go through and work on which is the, the standard deductions and the like. Okay. And I'm gonna go ahead and pause it. I'll see you in a little bit. So it's telling me now to go back to the testing menu and follow the adaptive uh, learning prompts from there. 
So let's see what this does. Okay, so let's go back to the study unit, see what if it lets me out of it. Okay, so it still wants me to go through and uh, get a little bit better. So let's go ahead and continue study unit three. Let's see what it wants me to do now. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and hit that launch. Okay, so it's going to give me yet another, we've got another 22 question quiz. Okay, so I'm going to go see how I do on this and I'll see you back in a little bit. Okay, so I just finished another one. Let's see how I did. I want to finish this test and we'll see how I did. I think I got like, oh, wow. Okay. Same deal, I guess I'm doing a little bit better on business meals, rental property, business expenses. Yeah, filing requirements, returns of dependents. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and review these. I'll see you in a moment. Okay, so I might, I've determined that I've completed the study unit. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and skip the evaluation and let's go back over here to uh, the main score. Okay, so here we go. Um, so there we go. So I've got uh, these two done so far. I've got another uh, one uh, through here ready to go. So um, there we go. I just got to keep on keep on studying. So uh, overall, this has been really, really helpful. I do like the fact that they're bringing up questions from or the climb is using questions from the filing requirements and bringing those into later ones, meaning the questions that I missed is kind of reinforcing um, so I want to thank you for watching this video. If you have any uh, questions or comments, please send them to me at 1812cpa uh, at gmail.com and I will see you on the next video. Have a great one.